Romans chapter 1 verse 30. It said, backbiters hate us from Jehovah. Now it said backbiters, right? Now, at one point, these men were given double honors and honoring them and cherishing them and everything. But when they fall out the truth, they saw what? Backbite, meaning what? Talking BS behind the apostles, elders, and us younger brothers' back, right? Banging on wax, banging on camera. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. They said backbiters, haters of the most high. See, haters of God. How is that being, even though they said they're coming in the name of you, how about she may always try to steal? They're being a hater of God. How? Because you're hating the men that he set up to lead his people. See what I'm saying? You're not showing no love, you're doing what? Showing hate toward the Most High. When you're not following the orders of the men that he set up to teach you and to guide you, you're being a what? A hater of the Most High. See what I'm saying? Because this is all a spiritual thing. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, despiteful, proud, boasting, inventors of evil things. See, despiters, proud, because the Lord hates what? Pride. When you start feeling yourself, thinking you're up on some type of level and you're not. Or trying to put yourself above certain people and you're not. You're supposed to stay humble at all times and let the Lord lift you up. Not you lift yourself up. And it says what? Uh, bolsters. Bolsters. Yeah, I got more knowledge than the apostles. They going off in scripture. I know the right way. See what I'm saying? The Lord is only dealing with me. He ain't dealing with you old men. Start talking crazy against the apostles. You're boasting on yourself. That's another form of what? Pride. Go ahead, bro. It said inventors of evil things. What does it mean by inventors of evil things? It ain't just out here talking about selling drugs. It's talking about doctrines. You're coming up with your own doctrine. See what I'm saying? <coughs> Going against the doctrine of who? You how about she be able to shout? No, you can say this thing, you how about she be able to shout? How about Shimei was shot? Being disobedient to your spiritual parents. See what I'm saying? Why? Because the Lord set these men up to look out for you, to guide your life. See what I'm saying? To show you the right way. Because what the scripture say? Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he get older, he will not depart from it. See what I'm saying? So these are our spiritual parents that's training us up as children. So as we get older, we will not depart from the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We will not depart from the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh See what I'm saying? This is a serious thing with the Lord, being disobedient to your parents. These ain't just some more regular Joe Smoles that the Lord set up. They teaching us things that our earthly parents couldn't teach us. Nothing about the Bible like this, man. See what I'm saying? They took it to church. Well, guess what? The church was going off to the church, wasn't even teaching us correct doctrine. So the Lord set these men up to what? To be our spiritual parents. You get what I'm saying? To lead us in the correct way to go in life through this walk with the Lord, with the Heavenly Father and the Son. Somebody give me uh uh, Psalms 81 and 12. Psalms 81 and 12. Psalms 81 and 12. And read down to verse 15. So I gave them up unto their own hearts, lust, and they walked in their and they walked in their own counsel. See, the Lord gave them over to what? Their own desires, their own lust, which is what? To be their dude, to be on top. That's why they had the nerve to sit back and bite back, uh, back bite, have pride, and come up against their what? Their parents. Because why? They want to be the leaders of Israel. All these dudes that just see, just bugged out, 
that's coming against the doctrine, these men want to be on some type of spiritual level. They want to be that dude. They want to be Yahweh Shai themselves. They feel like they can lead Israel in a better way, and they can't. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. All that my people. Well, see, it said they walked in their own counsel, meaning their own ways, what they feel is right. They feel like their way is better than the way of Yahweh Shai. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. All, all that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my way. Go ahead. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my head against their adversaries. See, that's why we're stuck in this punishment that we're in right now. Because the Lord said, All that my people had hearkened unto me, and the Israel had walked in my way, I should have soon subdued their enemies. If we would have followed the law of the commandments as a, a nation, on, as a whole, the, the Lord would have hurried up and came and delivered us, man. The Lord would have hurried up and fought on our behalf against these heathen nations. If we would have all subdued, if we would have all been uh, under subjection unto the Heavenly Father and His Son. But the nation as a whole didn't do that, so guess what? Now we're being punished as a whole. Even though we're trying to walk in the statutes and commandments to the best of our ability, still, as a nation, we're under punishment. Because why? We didn't hearken unto the voice and the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father and His Son. Go ahead, bro. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto Him. See? The haters of the Lord. Who was it? All those that's coming against their spiritual parents. All those that were bucking up against the laws, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father. Because like the scriptures say, if you offend in one, you offend in all. See what I'm saying? Just because you out there teaching the truth, but yet you're backbiting and dis being disobedient to your parents, you're still sinning. You see what I'm saying? Even though you claim you're keeping the law to the 100% correct, which that's a lie. Ain't nobody keeping a whole 613 laws perfectly. You see what I'm saying? But if you're coming against your prayer, guess what? You're, you're what? Transgressing the laws. Because the Lord told you to what? Be obedient to your parents. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. It says, obey them that have ruled over you. Read that one more time. It says, obey them that have ruled over you. Obey. Meaning to what? Follow, listen, hearken. Be under subjection. See what I'm saying? Submit yourself to them that have ruled over us. Who is that? That is our spiritual parents, which is the apostles and elders. It, even on down to our camp leaders and our brothers that's over us, man. That's right, that's right. The Lord set these men up for a reason, man. We listen to our brothers. See what I'm saying? Just because, even in this camp, just because I'm a camp leader, they don't give, give me the right to not listen to my brothers. These still my brothers. They see something I don't see, I listen to them. It's an open door policy with this camp. That's the way it should be with all camps. Ain't nobody above nobody in the camp. See what I'm saying? We're all striving for that mark to get delivered up out of here by the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even if I go out, they got the right to correct me. The scripture tell you not to be a respecter of person. That's showing love too, bro. Exactly. That's how you truly show love to your brother. Help him when you think when he's going off, man. You you, you, you correct him, man. That's right. You don't just sit up there and let him keep on sinning and going out the way, man. That's being a respecter of person. It is. Come on, brother. Well, you don't want to correct the brother. Oh, man, you know, man, we've been cool since knee high to a pup's nuts. I don't want to say nothing to him. Man, fuck that. If, if, if that's going to save your brother's life, save it. Right. See what I'm saying? What you got, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, go 13 and 17. They say, obey them that have ruled over you and submit yourself. See? Submit yourself. Go ahead. Sub means under. So you're supposed to put yourself under that person, man. Humble yourself. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, man. They said, for they watch for your souls as they must that they must give account. See, they watch for your souls. That's why you're supposed to listen to what? Your spiritual parent, which is what? The apostles. They are watching for your soul. 
They've been through this. They have experience. How could you have more experience than them? You're a beginner in this. See what I'm saying? He didn't. He, just, he caught himself. He didn't say he walked on it before. Let it be a curse to you, man. Yeah. Don't do I'm, it no more, I'm glad you agree with that curse. He, he the same one walk on the Lord, the Lord, Mark, he drunk as hell. Okay. Yeah, he drunk as hell, but he agreed with the curse. So he brought damnation unto himself. Our people, see, our people don't understand how serious this is, man. This ain't something that you just do. This is serious, man. This is a matter of life and death, literally. Bro. It says, for they watch for your souls as they must give an account. See, that the reason why they watch for your souls is what? They must give an account because the blood will be on their hand if they don't watch for our souls. That's why they tell us not to do this and not to do that. Like your parents would. Hey, boy, don't go down that street. Ain't no trouble down there. Your parents is looking out for you. I wish I would have listened more to my parents growing up. I wouldn't have been in so much trouble as I as I did growing up, man. Being hard-headed. What they say, a hard head make a soft ass. And that's a true statement. Go ahead, bro. He said that they may do it with joy and not with grief. See, the thing, and our apostles love keeping us on the right track, man. It's not grievous to them. Only time they get grievous is when somebody is hard-headed and buck up against the doctor. See what I'm saying? Then it vexes their spirit because why? They may have love for that person, man. They have love for us children, man. That's why they correct us. That's why they scold us. See what I'm saying? That's why you help us in your shop, chastises us because he loves us. He's looking out for us, man. But you people rather be hard-headed and do your own thing. You think your way is better than the Lord's way and it's not. Go ahead, bro. Say, and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. See, it's unprofitable, unprofitable for you. What is it? What are you going to gain by being a hard-headed beside what? Death and destruction. You trying to seek everlasting life. See what I'm saying? That's what should be profitable, profitable for you. It's everlasting life, man. Not death and destruction. But that's what something you want, man. Uh, finish up in the 82 and 15. Yeah, go to, uh, Psalms, uh, 81 and, uh, 15, sorry. Finish up 15. 15. And the angels of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him. But their time should have endured forever. That's right. Their time should have endured forever, but it didn't. That's why the Lord said the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves to him, but they didn't. That's why their time didn't last. That's why they got booted out the truth. That's why they got booted out the knowledge. They think they got some knowledge, but they don't. Because they don't even understand the basics why they're trying to be so deep. Sometimes you don't have to go so deep. Sometimes you just have to look at the surface. See what I'm saying? Because you can miss a whole lot just by not looking at the surface of things. Sometimes you have to go deep. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes the Lord can put the answer right there in your face. But sometimes you be so full of pride that you miss the answer trying to be so deep that you're trying to put yourself on some kind of level. See what I'm saying? The, the, the smartest man is the man that what? Understands common sense. See what I'm saying? That's why the scripture tell you, be not ignorant of anything, small or great. Because a lot of y'all miss the small thing, trying to search out the great thing. So you can see people walk up to you like, ooh, ah, man, you're wonderful. Instead of being humble and, and being thankful for it, the measure that the Lord has given you, man. We're not trying to be some kind of great men. That time will come when the Lord will give us crowns and put us on a level, man. We're not trying to put ourselves on a level. We're thankful for what the Lord has given us. Right. Go ahead with that. Take a break. Uh, 
Second Corinthians, you said 12 and 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said, For I hear, that's when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not. That's that be faith, envy, wrath, strife, neck biting, whisper, swelling, tumult. That's right. I think I had one of you start up first before this. But we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. And right, we speak before the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That why we come out here through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to speak to you people, man. But it says, we do, but beloved, we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. So ed everything we do is what? To edify you people. You Negro, Latino, Native American, the children of Israel. We do everything to what? Build you up, to lift you up. See what I'm saying? To break it down to where you can understand. This day welcome. They love these caves, man. Yeah, here's 20 something degrees. They are with shorts on, man. Him and his kids. That lets you know who the true cave the was, the true Caucasians are. Right. Or the Caucasus Mountains. Right. Mount Petra, the rock. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, keep reading. Verse 20. Verse 20. It says, For I hear, lest when I come. Uh -huh, read that again. It says, For I hear. Uh -huh, lest, read that again. For I fear. There you go. Lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I would. See, see, Paul said, I fear, lest when I come, I should not find you such as I would. Meaning what? Following the law of the commandments of the heavenly Father. Teaching this doctrine, the truth, according to the will and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. He said, For I fear that when I come, I should not find you such as I would, and that I should not, that I should shall be found unto you such as ye would not. Lest there be debates, envy, wrath, strife, backbiting, whispering, swelling, tumult. Go ahead. And lest, when I come again, my power will humble me among you, and, and that I shall be well, many which have sinned already. And that's what we do. We be well. We're, we're, we're actually crying for those that have sinned already, because what? You people are lost. You Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you're lost. You're lost. You see what I'm saying? You don't know the way of your house by shooting out with shot. Even though that was, those that was once in the truth, that fell out the truth, we actually feel sorry for you, man. Because now you're dead to, you're dead to your house by shooting out with shot. Now you're going to be destroyed. Because you lost your way to everlasting life, man. And it's actually sad. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. He said, which I have seen already and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed. See? It said, and that I sh shall be well, many which have sinned already, it says what? And have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness, which means what? One, one time which is undisciplinedness, which they have committed. See what I'm saying? These people have not repented for their sins. We're, we're trying to warn you, Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, to what? Turn from your wicked ways and come back to the Lord before you get destroyed. We don't want to see you get destroyed, but if you want to be hard-headed and disobedient to your parents, well, hey, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do for you. See what I'm saying? Right. 